Hi, this is Steve. I am here on, you don't need to see my face, really. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to my new Benford custom guitar that I just took delivery of. This is something I've wanted for a long time, and uh, Steve Benford has helped my dream come true. So I'll take you through features of what I've had done on this and what's unusual about it. It's got some unique features. Okay. So, headstock, front sight from the headstock, upside down, because why not? Looks a bit different. Uh, I'm not into behind the nut bending or stuff, but uh, Grover locking tuners on there. Uh, nice little string trees there. Uh, tusk nut. Uh, so, an ebony fretboard with stainless frets. It's a variable radius fretboard. The neck is asymmetrical, so it's thicker on the base side, just makes it a bit more comfortable. I have to say, there's just nothing, there's no friction here. It just, you just slide up and down it to your heart's content. Uh, up here, strap locks, I think, are essential these days. I don't see why any even expensive car, guitars come without them, because why wouldn't you want to keep your guitar nice and safe? Uh, also mentioned a uh, custom inlay here. It's uh, marking a certain event for me. You can figure that out for yourself. Uh, body neck set, maple body, plain ash, just oil finished. Just very workmanlike. The uh, cut it's carved away here at the behind because. I see no reason to be uncomfortable when I'm playing. Pickups are Kimman Broadcasters, thanks to my friend Simon who supplied those. Standard Tully bridge, no other sides, didn't want stuff getting in the way. Controls are Master Volume, Master Tone, four way pickup switch. There are series and parallel options, but I'm struggling to hear much difference between them, I have to say, but they're there. And this is a kill switch. Uh, okay, you may notice here there are two. I I might write two strap buttons. The reason is it doesn't really work with the uh, strap on, but when it's off, it means that when you stand it up on its end, it's not going to fall over. That's one well, that's less likely anyway. You also notice the jack socket is set in there. This is a feature I saw on one of his other guitars. I like the look of it. Just tucks the cable away a bit, keeps things tidy. And then on the rear, we've got the uh, sculpted heel here, just to make it nice and comfortable to get up there. And I've not actually seen this anywhere, but it's something I thought of a while ago, is having a pick holder actually built into the guitar, so you can just, when you're playing, you need another one, it's just there. Uh, just nothing else, strings through the body as normal. These are I think, the Dario strings on here, tens. Uh, have I missed anything out? don't think so, but uh, if you've got any questions you can put them in the comments and I'll try and answer. If you want to talk to Steve Benford, he's at benfordguitars.com within the US. Even with importing it to the UK, it still works out pretty reasonable, I think. I mean, if, if you're in the US, it's a, it's a steal. I had to pay the duty on this, to not worth risking that. But it's, uh, I was at a guitar show yesterday. I mean, there were some gorgeous UK built custom guitars, but you were looking at a bit more money than these, this for those. Maybe for the next one, I'll save up. I'm nothing against Steve, but uh, there are just so many wonderful guitar builders out there. It's, it's very tempting. And uh, I can recommend the experience, really. I mean, it, you can buy an off the shelf Fender, but for not much more money you can have, or, or a Gibson or whatever, you can, or even a PRS, and you can have something built exactly to your specification with the woods you want, inlays, whatever, and uh, it doesn't have to match to their standard way. A lot of builders will be quite accommodating to pretty much do anything you can dream of, but that may affect the price, of course, if it's difficult to do. Right, we are turned up. So. I'm playing through my 
bell capped tube amp and start the bridge pickup. <laughs> really are noiseless I mean there's nothing I haven't whacked the volume right up but uh, I'm not hearing any noise I've got a fluorescent light above me and uh, nothing coming through from that at all no hum it'd be 50 cycle here on 60 in the US but uh, it makes no difference the pickups are actually from Australia but uh, <laughs> Benford, he can sort you out, make you a beautiful guitar, or consider talking to your local custom builder, I think you'll be very happy. For the price of a Gibson or a Fender, you can have something unique. Thank you.